Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now December 19th. We are now just in the final couple of weeks of 2020 before we head into 2021, which is where the new Star Wars universe really is going to pick up with the Bad Batch, the Book of Boba Fett, the Mandalorian Season 3, and more to come as well in 2022 and further. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one exciting aspect about the future of the Star Wars universe is that, yes, we've got George, John, and Dave all working together as a team to really deliver as much authentic Star Wars material as possible, but it's not just that. We also have a scenario now where they are setting up all of these fan-favorite characters like Ahsoka, Luke Skywalker, and they're also planning Ezra Bridger for future Mando seasons. Now, I don't know if you guys saw chapter 16 of The Mandalorian, but let me just say this, you know, it is quite an experience. We will be going into spoilers for that episode and future plans of what Lucasfilm was working on. So if you guys don't want to be spoiled, I do suggest that you guys actually like back out of this video right now. Now, on top of all of this, one thing that we do know that Jon Favreau is planning is obviously to further reunite the fans. We can already see the divide closing in. You know, we can see that Jon Favreau is closing the divide, getting fans closer. They literally used the disappointment of the sequel trilogy and kind of used a lot of positive notes in The Mandalorian to draw the fans back in. They were very smart, very, very smart, but at the same exact time, Favreau was very genuine about it. He actually loves the character of Luke and he wanted to use him to his best ability. So we also got to give a lot of credit to Peyton for really directing the episode very well. So give credit to him as well. Now on top of all of this, with The Mandalorian Season 2 now over, Disney and Lucasfilm are primarily focused on the future of the franchise on Disney Plus and also what's to come into theaters. Now it's described that Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni have a major plan for The Mandalorian's future seasons. This strategy is to have both Luke Skywalker and an elderly Mace Windu to cross paths in The Mandalorian Season 4, which is currently in the early stages and is being worked on back to back with Season 3. Now it's described that Lucasfilm wants to explore the concept of one of Luke's journeys, searching for an elderly Jedi that is in exile on a foresty planet that is designed to have tons of thunderstorms. Samuel Jackson has already been in the talks to return as an elderly Mace Windu in his mid-90s or so to hold secret knowledge about the Empire and, of course, secret actual aspects of Palpatine that he hid away. Now, it's said that Favre wants to create an Avengers-style story in the two Mando seasons where Mando and crew join together and eventually split up to fight their own battles. However, Luke's story is described to showcase the training with Grogu and his help from a much-needed Jedi that once knew Grogu during the prequel trilogy era. Favreau and Filoni are set on the concept to take place, of course, in a couple of years and to set up Windu's return in his own TV series that's aimed for 2024. Now, let's stop right there for a second. We talked about this lightly before in the past, mind you. The elderly Mace Windu, we can't necessarily expect Mace to have any action in Mando Season 4 per se, but they are planning a Mace Windu TV series that's going to feature a somewhat older and injured Mace Windu after the events of Order 66, but not elderly, and also a young Mace Windu being portrayed by somebody else. We talked about how Michael B. Jordan has been in the talks and signed on to be, be the actual young Mace Windu. I'm not quite sure if he really fits the role for that, but that's just my opinion. Now, everything aside from, you know, the whole entire concept of Mace and Luke crossing paths, it seems a little strange to me. It seems a little odd to even imagine Luke and Mace actually seeing each other. To me, it just seems a little strange. I'm not quite sure if it's going to work, but if they can make it work, they can make it work. Look what they did with Palpatine after all. Did they handle it the best way? Not necessarily because they did not explain in the movie that he was a clone. But Mace Windu surviving the fall through, of course, the force and losing his arm, getting struck by force lightning. I mean, obviously, Mace can survive if Palpatine survived. There's no doubt about it. Now, like I've said before in the past, I'm not quite sure if some fans will actually see this as Lucasfilm going a little way too overboard? I don't think so. I think that as long as they treat it very well in a realistic matter, 
that's not going to be too, you know, ridiculous, I think that it'll be handled well. Now, what Jon Favreau wants to do is that he wants to have Mace Windu holding secret knowledge about Grogu. It's very safe to say, it's a very, very high possibility here that Mace Windu could very well have been the one to have actually saved Grogu at one point in time within the actual Jedi Temple. It's just possible. I mean, I don't think it's highly, highly likely, but it's possible. It's out there. Um, I think it could rather just be a random Jedi, to tell you the guys the truth, but that's just my take on things. Um, but everything related to what's going on with Star Wars right now, all these new projects are going to be announced next year in 2021, so looking forward to that. So like I said before in the past, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.